Hey guys, uh, welcome to today's video. So today's video is going to be my fragrance remix video. This is like a fragrance layering combo video, but this is going to be taking the new and layering with the old. I do have a couple of new with new just because, I mean, why not? But I'm gonna go over what I've been wearing for the last two weeks. I did receive the Kaali Oudgasm collection as well as I recently picked up valentino's born in roma pink and that's kind of what inspired this video was that i noticed i was using these three new fragrances and then a, a couple of other ones and taking out old ones that i haven't played with for some time so this is definitely more of a relaxed video it's definitely a video for people who love playing with their fragrances it's not for people who don't enjoy layering but we have a lot to go over so let's go ahead and get into the video the first combo that sparked the idea for this is actually valentino's born in roma pink with keali's cafe oud now i know this is new with new but then this got me exploring some fragrances that i haven't picked up the new valentino pink is definitely one that i would say is a little bit more on the mass appealing side it's been done before it's kind of that typical orange blossom sweet designer scent but when layered with this you get a little bit more of a woodiness and you get a little bit more of that kind of gourmand touch with the cafe note that's in here the cappuccino note and what's nice about this one with this one is it gives it a little bit more of a fruity kind of vanilla touch so this combo was really nice and that's what sparked the idea now what i wore this with to kind of revamp some of my older fragrances is I did pull out my Victor and Rolf's Bon Bon. This is another kind of super sweet caramel gourmand scent. There is mandarin in this one, there's peach, but this one can get a little strong on me. I wore this, I remember I wore this to work and gave myself a headache. If you're into caramel fruity kind of fragrances, this one is kind of beastly. So. I went ahead because I do overspray this one. This one is a little bit more, it sits in your area. I oversprayed this one and then I did a few sprays of this one. And this definitely kind of took down that sweetness and gave this one a new life. Because this is one that I don't wear often anymore. But every now and again, I kind of crave it because I want something caramel and sweet. And I don't have too many caramel fragrances left in my collection. I decluttered a lot of them. So this was a nice way to kind of, I would say soften this one up, not make it as sweet, bring out a little bit more of the fruitiness, but while still keeping that kind of gourmand side to it. So this was a really nice combination and a nice remix. So I also wore this one with Dolce & Gabbana the only one. So this added a little bit of a fruitiness. This is another kind of gourmand scent. This one's a little bit more orange blossom. This one has a note of coffee that has gotten a little bit stronger with time. So I did layer these two together as well as I went ahead and layered Cafe Oud. I would say out of the two, I did enjoy this combination just a little bit more because the coffee note has gotten just a touch stronger in this one. I think it's because it's the small bottle. And I don't know what it is about travels and smaller bottles. I don't know if it just, if it develops a lot quicker than larger ones, but the coffee note is a little bit stronger in this one than it was in my large bottle. I did prefer this one because it did cut down a little bit more on the coffee note that's in here and brought out the orange that's in here. Because this one, again, I really love that kind of Calabrian Mandarin. This combination was nice too. I would say, I wouldn't say that it brought out the coffee because this is a different kind of coffee note. This is more of a cappuccino or like a cafe con leche. It's more of a bittersweet. Whereas for me, this one does tend to be more of a black coffee. The sweetness I get from this one is coming more from like the orange blossom. I don't know if there's caramel in this one. If there is, it isn't overly decadent. Yeah, there is in the base. So this was a nice combination as well. So another new fragrance. Can't remember if I hauled this one this year or the tail end of 2022, but it is fairly new. This is the, the other Valentino that came out. This is the Intense this one layered with every single one of the valentinos is beautiful this layers so nicely with coral fantasy uh yellow 
I think it's Yellow Dream in the original, but especially Coral Fantasy and Yellow Dream. Those are more musky. Those are more, I would say, summery fragrances. So if you want to wear those for fall, this adds a kind of warm, ambery vanilla to it. The jasmine in here is a little indolic and it's, it is really strong in the beginning, but when they start to warm up on your skin together, the combos are beautiful. I know a lot of people found Coral Fantasy to be kind of a letdown so if you have it and you're looking for a way to kind of revamp remix that scent i would say the intense mixes very nicely with that one i'm going to be trying it next with this one but since this one is limited edition i wanted to mention this one because i this one you can still get your hands on and this one mixes really nicely with those fragrances i love them on their own but i know some people especially coral fantasy were let down yellow yellow dream isn't um redundant it's kind of a rosy lemon which when i was testing out rose oud there was something sparkly in the opening of this one that reminded me of something they don't smell anything alike but that rose kind of lemon combo that i get in valentino's yellow dream i get a rose lemon in this one this one's just more woody and i am starting to pick up on the oud on this one a little bit more but this one i didn't want to pull out all my valentinos i'm just gonna pop in a picture of all of them this layers beautifully with all of them because this is a simple ambery vanilla jasmine scent okay, the next we have burberry goddess this one i layered with leap the eau de parfum this is a limited edition bottle i know people always ask me this is just a fancy bottle but it's the original leap this combination is beautiful this gives leap a more refined soapy lavender vanilla touch this does have vanilla but it's lighter in this one and even though the intense has more vanilla you get the burberry goddess dna mixed in with this one this one i wore to work and i got a compliment so this was a really nice combination this was me just having fun because i absolutely love this fragrance on its own i adore this one on its own but together this was magical and then if you guys saw my review you guys know that i find ariana grande's new pink to just be a little bit more redundant so i wore this one the other night it became obnoxious to me so i put this one on top and this was a nice combination i do like this one with the original cloud as well i just don't have it next to me but that's also a nice combination i don't really wear these fragrances anymore well i just got this one and i i mean it's almost halfway gone because i find the performance on this one to suck so most of the cloud fragrances have become bedtime fragrances for me but i have noticed that layering it it has kind of revamped my older one and made me want to wear it a little bit more so burberry goddess with those fragrances are also nice as well so not so super new to my collection but newer is kaali's eden juicy apple this is one that i layer with everything and i've already shared this but now that we're coming around to fall this is probably one of my favorite combinations and that is angel's share with kaali's eden juicy apple this is a nice way to take down the sweetness of this one and bring out more of the apple that is not listed in here but this is one that i think if you have this you found it boring but you still have it and you want to use this for something this goes with a lot of fall fragrances this goes really nice with cherry fragrances i've layered this with love fest burning cherry i've layered this with dancing roses layered it with absolutio and i've even done all three of these this is really nice so this is a nice fragrance for layering as well another fragrance that i layered with rose oud was i layered rose oud with oud bouquet because this is one that's beastly it's another one that i don't think i'm ever gonna get through this large bottle but i can't find anything smaller so i might start decanting this one they do pair nicely but you have to go super light first of all you do have to overspray this one and this is a beast this will eat up rose oud but what i did was i did one two three and then i sprayed it and walked through and that's how i sprayed this one and then on top i went ahead and i oversprayed this one you do have to overspray so if you're not an oversprayer or don't like to then i would say stay away from this one 
but this was also a nice combination and made me pull out oud bouquet again all right how am i gonna leave here without my scent of the day because my scent of the day is actually a layering combo so i was going to layer delina with rose oud and i'm still gonna try this out and i'll report back but at the last minute and i'm gonna refresh because it's already gonna be six i put this on like around 11. i put on cafe oud with delina because this is another rosy musk but with a cappuccino twist oh my god you guys this combo here if you want delina in the fall you want Delina wrapped up in a Burberry scarf. You want Delina in a cute little trench coat. This combo right here. Cafe Oud with Delina. Now, Delina is one that to me performs. So again, you have to kind of overspray this one, but I spray this, I spray this on top, and again, it's Delina in fall. And it's beautiful, but that's another kind of remix to kind of revamp this one and make me pull it out in fall. I wear this one year round, but Again, I just, I don't know what it is. I just like my gourmand touches around fall time. And this does add a nice, beautiful gourmand touch. So that's another combination. So some combos that I'm really excited to try. I'm really excited to try Valentino Pink with Soleil by Lali because there's Mandarin in this one. But I really want to try it also with Soleil Vibrant. I think that combination is going to be really pretty because that one also has, I think it's either Clementine or like another orange fruit and it has vanilla this one has vanilla so i think they're going to complement each other really well so i'll have to pop back in here and let you guys know of that combination another one that i want to try i've already done dancing roses with this one but i want to try maybe the new cherries that i have in my collection to see if any of them pair nicely with this one especially the new cherry ambition by seven virtues that one isn't working out for me like i wanted i don't know if it's the muskiness with the cherry but i'm wondering if that one will pair nicely with this one that one just gets a little too air freshener vibes but maybe it'll pair nicely and then i'll enjoy that travel a little bit more but i'm going to be playing with some more and i'm going to come back at the end of the week film something real quick and finish this video off so those are my remix fragrances that's taking some of the old and mixing it with the new and making me pull out and enjoy some of my older fragrances we tend to always look for something new and i feel like sometimes you can just do that with what you have so i am enjoying that a little bit more and hopefully that will help with always kind of seeking the next best thing is just kind of maybe creating the next best thing i don't know you guys let me know in the comments below do you guys layer and if so what are some of your amazing layering combos i'm always down for your guys's feedback and i try them out especially if i have them but that will do it for today's video i hope you liked it if you did please give it a thumbs up and i will catch you guys in my next video bye guys